All right, number three, Carol Dohide. Come on now, Carol. <laughs> Stand up. Caroline Dollahide, ranked 31 in the world in doubles. Made the quarterfinals at the Australian Open this year. Semifinals and dubs at the U.S. Open last year. Yeah, and that quarterfinals uh, of the Oz Open uh, this year was with Jen Brady. So that potentially could be a very strong team. Certainly, Bethany Maddox fans is trying to outposition Maddie right now on the double side. <laughs> All right, Jen, uh, you're all wired up and ready to go. So what we have just said is that uh, you're on the same team as Jen Brady. You've had some great success with Jen. You, you won in Surbiton last year. You got to the quarterfinals of a major. How excited are you to maybe play some more doubles with Jen Brady? Yeah, no, I'm pumped both uh, for the singles and the doubles. And so far, we've got a great team. And I trust our captain. You know, Bethany is going to bring the energy and we're going to have a lot of fun, so I'm really excited. All right. Maddie, it is time for you to make your third selection. My third pick is Layla Fernandez. All right. Layla Fernandez, the 17-year-old at a career-high 118 in the world, Lindsay. Yeah, what a start to 2020 Layla was having. She reached the final of Acapulco. How about this? At a career-high rank, making that transition from the juniors to the pros and was doing it so well and no doubt excited to get back on the court and also to get this type of experience against this these high-level opponents all week long. Got a win against Belinda Bencic earlier this year. Had a win against Sloan Stevens as well. The Canadian, just 17 years old, Layla Fernandez, putting the microphone on. By the way, it is cleaned off in between <laughs> each player. Health and safety is of the utmost importance. Uh, Layla, Steve Weissman with you here on Tennis Channel. It's so exciting to have you drafted here on Team Kindness. Uh, you were having a fantastic 2020. What have you been doing in your time off? Um, I've been doing schoolwork, first of all, <laughs> <laughs> trying to finish high school. I think I should be done in a few days. And then training and uh, playing a few matches here and there. Okay, well, I know Madison has been scouting the internet, so you must have been playing uh, some really good tennis <laughs> to get on Team Kindness. Uh, let's update the rosters for you right now through three rounds here in the Credit One Bank Invitational Draft. Bouchard, Brady, Dalahide on Team Peace. Anna Samova, Azarenka, Fernandez on Team Kindness. So, Bethany, we go back to you for your fourth pick. Who do you have? All right, fourth pick, Danielle Collins. Come on down, Who's Danielle DC? Collins. There Another player who played some collegiate tennis and was a two-time NCAA champion, Chanda. Well, when you talk about team and energy, Danielle Collins is certainly a player that comes to mind. She's feisty uh, as a competitor, and she's had some excellent success in the finals of the Australian Open uh, at, last year. And certainly she's had some matches. It's the UTR weekend, so she should be a real asset for Team Pete. All right, Danielle, Steve Weissman uh, with you here. Congratulations on being selected on Team Peace. Uh, obviously, you have a lot of experience when it comes to playing for a team in college at UVA, then Fed Cup as well. Uh, how are you going to bring that energy with no fans in the stands? Well, let's not forget, Bethany and I have played doubles before, so I think we're going to be a really strong team with everybody here. And, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the team camaraderie and all the good vibes we're going to have this weekend. Yeah, Are Danielle's we? a savage when it comes to team <laughs> events. She really gets into it. She, we're, she's going to have the, the whole bench over here behind her. So I like, I love energy. I think that's what all, that's what this is all about. So DC is going to bring it. It's team peace, Danielle, but will you have the entire team screaming, come on? Yeah, 100%. you know me. Um, yeah, we're going to bring the feistiness, so... Get ready, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> the trash talk has begun. All right, Maddie, uh, who is your fourth pick? Uh, my next pick is Monica Puig. Monica Puig, who Lindsay made the semifinals in Charleston last year for her best result. Yeah, let's not forget the highlight of her career, the Olympic gold medal four years ago, coming off elbow surgery. So hasn't played an event for quite some time, but she's been practicing hard in South Florida. Again, very comfortable on the surface also. 
and very eager to get back into competition. Yeah, currently ranked number 90 in the world, had that elbow surgery last December and has not played yet. Hey, Monica, Steve Weissman with you here on Tennis Channel. Uh, get get that, uh, that microphone on. Uh, Monica, we've been following you all year on My Tennis Life, so we, we've seen what you've been up to. Uh, this is going to be your first event. So w what's been the most challenging part of your time off, and how excited are you to finally get some match play in? Yeah, well, I think the, the toughest thing was definitely rehabbing after surgery. It was a bit of a disappointment to miss uh, the first part of the year, but really excited to be competing here and to be on Madison's team. We have a pretty good one, so I'm feeling really good about it. Uh, Madison, to get uh, a gold medalist. Now you've got a, a couple gold medalists on your team. What do you think of that? I not only was Monica's gold medal something that came into my mind, but also playing here in the semis last year here, we had a really tough match. So knowing that she loves this court was definitely part of my reasoning and picking her for my team. All right, fantastic. Four rounds down right now in the Credit One Bank Invitational Draft.